What's up, carrots? Welcome back to Redemption Forty Six Studios. What's up, Doc? It's like, nah, oh how you doing? God. I'm Nick. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, what, what like, not those on, fucking man. carrots. <laughs> These. It's like, nah, what's up, y'all? I'm Young Louis Nida. I'm Keith. I'm Doc. Nah, diamond carrots because seventeen don't do nothing but drop diamonds. Oh, sorry, these ain't diamonds. You know what I'm saying? These CZs, I ain't rich. Sorry, we'll don't get there. Me. We'll get there at one point. <laughs> um, it won't take us seventeen years. It's like, nah. nah. <laughs> That's good. Good one. I like that. Y'all see the thumbnail? Y'all seen the picture? Y'all know why y'all here? Seventeen fallen flower. Um, this was heavily requested. Uh, mm. Carrots, we did not forget about you. Um, y'all know. I didn't really think about it, but like carrots, um, they're kind of like a base for uh, like redemption as well. Because when we first started everything, obviously, you know, Army is here and the end citizens are here. Left we right. did a bunch of our 17 stuff kind of yeah. from the beginning. So it's Fear, been a lot of people. Left and right. yeah, it's been a lot of people hitting me up just like, yo, you know, make sure y'all guys show 17 some love throughout the month just because it's still a core base. You know, with redemption, uh, like here and stuff. Y'all so. got scoops in this group. How can we not show them some love? Yeah, so, you know, no long talk. I know you're about to throw Woozy. <laughs> hey, I ain't, <laughs> Woozy speak for himself, yeah, man. I ain't got to do too much. Vernon and DK and Hoshi Vernon. and Joshua. Basically the whole group. Yeah, this is a bunch of visuals. Um, yeah, no long talk, though. We can jump right into this. I don't know what to expect this. is a Japanese this. track. Mm-hmm. So, let's go. Arigato. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Nice. Just thank you. It's not 
not fair. I'm falling. Who We're in love with course? this group. Who was hmm. that on the chorus? Um, don't sing it at falling. I can't. I can't uh, get his name out. Uh, he's he's one of uh, the main vocalists. Um, DK at first? N- no. Um, I think you talking about more of the falsetto part. He's talking about the. Always kill it. Um, I won't, I won't act like I know everybody. In the- I'll I'll probably look in a second and then get the name out because I can't get his name out because sometimes I always mistake him for uh, Hoshi and it don't it be um like start with a K I think um yeah maybe I'm the wrong person to start off because I'm very biased when it comes uh like to seventeen. Um, Hear myself talk a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm very biased when it comes to 17. They kind of can do no wrong, in my opinion. I think the only time I was critical of them might have been Darling, just because it was like the first English track, and I kind of wanted like a little bit more. But I wound up spending the block when it came to that as well. I, um, I think they made up for it with Hot. Um, yeah, I think uh, they went up. Nah, Hoshi is the vocal leader, but it wasn't. It wasn't Hoshi. Um, yeah, I think they're perfect. Um, I think when it comes to choreography, <laughs> the choreography okay, kings. Yeah, I so think yeah. the whole group of visuals. Um, I think the rap line is phenomenal. I think when it comes to songwriting, they can make any type of music. Um, so, yeah, I think when it comes to production, the, pro- the production is top tier. They're a self-produced group, so they can literally do everything in-house, whether it's dancing, production, writing, and everything. Um, this song was dope. I like this more as a performance. Or more as a dance practice, I'm pretty sure. Um, the only gripe I probably would have had with this song is I wish the crescendo maybe was a little bit different. Or when it got into the course, that certain elements changed to punch it up a little bit more. So it kind of felt more like a course. Um, versus where like the production didn't really leap once it left the course. It kind of, it almost kind of was like an after click, like, oh shit, yeah, they're into the course. Yeah. Um, like, you know, I don't think it ruined the song completely, but I can definitely see, like, if somebody was just like, yeah, it kind of wasn't for me, I guarantee you that probably was the reason why, because the course just kind of didn't, didn't click completely over and stuff like that. But I know as a performance and as an MV and everything, this was decent. Um, I love the production for the music video and everything that went into it. It looks very much, um, um... Flowery? <laughs> no, that's funny. Um, contemporary. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sitting here going on like this. Is it flowery? Abstract. <laughs> Be silent. Be still. Uh, <laughs> so I love those aspects of it. I'll probably talk a little bit more, but the I'm going to jump sunflower in. sunflower fall at night. Well, unfortunately, this didn't have any English subtitles, so... Um, I'm not gonna act like I don't like to pontificate or act like I know it, uh, everything that was going on. But hey. just from going from the t- off the title of the song and seeing just flowers, like how they were dressed and everything like that, as as well as uh, some of the members having thorns on their hands, kind of like alluding to them being the, the said falling flower. You see, like the uh, platform or their garden somewhere. is upside down, and they're like falling somewhere. out when it starts. That's what I was about so, to say. You know? I don't know. I think that was kind of dope. Like I said, that's just what I gathered. But because I didn't see any lyrics or anything like that in English, I'm not going to go too much deeper in that. But I do love the production aspect of it and just how it looks as an MV. It's very uh, visually appealing and just kind of like ethereal, um, which makes it interesting. Like uh, if they had a Korean version to this or, you know, I might just go watch the color code or something on another time and kind of get a feel for it. I don't know if it's a download yet. This definitely feels more of something I would want to see performed as opposed to like listen to on the regular. Um, but uh, I, I'm biased for Scoops, y'all know that. He's my favorite member of this group completely. So I did like his part, but um, I would be lying if I did if I said the singers didn't handle, the vocal line didn't handle business on this one. So yeah, man, I love, like I said, and I love this, uh, I think you said this Vernon right here? No. That's DK oh, singer DK. right there. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with uh, with the, I only know the leaders in uh, um, Joshua. Vernon, Vernon looks like a pretty boy no, vampire. You'll, you'll know when you see him. I know his name. I oh. don't know I his. 
Like Leo the cat. <laughs> uh, he said it him. on everything. <laughs> <running. laughs> like, no, uh, 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 okay, so I see him. But yeah, no, I thought I thought like I said, I thought this was, was very visually appealing. Um, I wish it was just uh, the lyrics were available so we can kind of. Or so I can kind of gauge and you see where everything's Google. going. I'm about to. I'm. I'm. Pull, I pulled them up for you. We could take a look at them real quick. Yeah, you know. Google the lyrics, yeah. my guy. Yeah. But uh, no, this is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sing ma. <laughs> yeah, no, but this this is cool, and I also like the whole um, with the moons, with the lunar cycles, like kind of going around them, showing the phases and everything like that of the moon. It felt like I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, man, pretty nice visually appealing video. Uh, Keith. Nah, so actually, Hoshi oh. starts, it's two fallen petals. So, you know, <laughs> nah. <laughs> you wanna read the lyrics? He's falling. <laughs> if I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? Well, I actually like this. I like you the production. I like the production behind this. I love the visuals behind this more than anything. Uh, like Lo said, I do wish there were lyrics up there so we can awesome. see the story uh, behind the video as well. Um, I think, Brad. who was it? Uh, Nick Zeng Kwan? Yeah. Zengquan. Yeah, him. He killed that at the end. Definitely smoked it. He was my favorite part of this whole song. Um, although I did love this, it might not be a download for me, but I will listen to it if it comes on whenever or if the video just pops up on MTV or BT yeah. when it just pop up on there, yeah, on YouTube, yeah, yeah, low. And just to like look at the lyrics to summarize things, oh, yeah, what's up? Um, it's definitely <laughs> just uh talking about falling in love with somebody and oh, just shit. using analogies of like roses falling or flowers falling during the seasons and just saying I want to fall that in love with you just kind of how roses fall and everything oh how foliage falls in the fall when the sun <laughs> begins to is descent you know moving further away from the earth and then everything gets colder here so the plant the foliage dies okay I get it wow Nick I think we're on to something damn it man that was damn. quick if you're young ain't like this then I don't know what to tell you how you feel um so first off, nice shirt, <coughs> motherfucker. Thank you, um, Team Godzilla. <coughs> but anyway, <coughs> I had a question. Well, not necessarily like a channel, but it was more like a rhetorical question. Um, so I know you brought up the production about it not kicking up, but I also know that music in different markets is produced differently. Very so true. their vo their uh, production track was really low. And the vocal track was really, really hot. Mm -hmm. um, almost to the point where it's drowning out a lot of the intricacies of the production track. Because there's a lot of things in the back that you listen to. You even see them dancing and reacting to it. But unless you like really listening, you don't hear it because mm -hmm. it's not prominent. Um, do you think the Japanese market dictates that they raise their vocal line because they're maybe more vocal centric um, as far as the market is concerned when it comes to their music? Could be. Could be, but... Uh, like certain members of certain groups are more popular in Japan for like other reasons. So like true. stuff like that can it always plays a part into how the Japanese version of songs come about and everything it like that. On the so. Japanese track, the John, uh, look at this, look at this. The, oh, uh, Chamina? Chamina. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chamina. Um, yeah, and like you said, because once you said that, my mind instantly just started going to songs that are like Japanese centric mm -hmm. tracks or half and half kind of tracks and stuff. I do know that the production is different, but I don't know with, on this tempo what if dictates that's the, the ex excuse The dictating for it. factor? Yeah. yeah. It might have just been them, honestly. Because um, this isn't the first time we've listened to like a K-track and we felt like the, the boost didn't happen. Especially, you know, tell me if I'm wrong, y'all. I think with most K-songs, the big point of it is is sometimes you get three or four different mm -hmm. changes of production mm -hmm. in music. So for right. this to kind of not change a lot felt very safe maybe or yeah. felt uh i wouldn't say underproduced because i can hear it's, it's too much going on yeah, for it's it not there, to be it's there but it's not accentuated you know what i mean like the whole ding 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 ding, ding like you know that like, almost like a steel drum but like synthesized almost in the background that's going off the entire time it's not accented to where it's mm -hmm. like oh i hear it maybe bringing in like one more instrument or, or like we said just kind of doing something 
me personally that would have like kick like kind of just elevate mm-hmm. because I feel like with courses you kind of just want to maybe do like something a, that's off the second half of the song bringing like a full string arrangement to kind of boost up the uh, yeah especially the when it's supposed to be more open like I'm like I'm pretty sure like y'all know like whenever people are going into like the verse and everything most mm-hmm. of the times the beat is very minimal mm-hmm. it'll kind of cut back on a lot of things let the artist kind of get their shit off whether it's vocally or rapping and then it's time to be kind of grand when it gets to the hook mm-hmm. and then once you get into your crescendo and then you go into the tell under everything you normally either get a key change or you'll get something else that's going to be a bit more just open up like it's just yeah. you know someone bring that shit home and this kind of wasn't there completely for me but mm-hmm. i still i still do like the track but i do want to listen to it a few more times to like digest it a little more i think the vocal line was, was kind of tripping throughout the inter- in a good way mm-hmm. throughout the entire song and just like showing their ass and everybody was like doing their thing um the video itself and not it's not a direct comparison obviously because there is no direct comparison for either mm-hmm. but it was also giving it was kind of giving me like fake love vibes where everybody's kind of trapped in their own little private oh, yeah. um i don't want to say hell but seclusion um, and then, like, once the chain kind of pops from the wall, then the walls kind of break down and they're yeah. able to kind of go in between and um, pretty much interact with everybody else. But it's like everybody has their own signature background except for the inverted uh, garden, and everybody kind of meets there at some point. Um, no, but I thought this was definitely a, a great video. The song is downloadable for me. I haven't downloaded it yet. But um, just because the the layering at the end, the vocal runs, the vocal lines, everything in this song for me, you know, presents it to be a download for me that I can re-listen to again, um, even without the video, and it would still hold a um, a replayability. So I mean, like every every this was this was a good jump. Yeah, this is something too where um, I definitely. Not so much we want to see a color coded because I think we've done that with a couple other groups at this point. Like, yo, who hit that? Because mm-hmm. um, I don't want to sound like somebody that just gives either like DK Hoshi or uh, Sinwan all, the credit. all yeah. the credit when it might have been like, you know, June, uh, like Mingyu, um, the eight, um, you know, just kind of one of them because mm-hmm. it does sound layered. Some of the uh, like the vocal runs, that falsetto was purely just one yeah. person, but it is like a lot of layering going on in here. And uh, we definitely need to do a guy. We didn't react to them too much for us to not, I'm not gonna say not know everybody because I, I definitely want to recognize a few more faces a lot better because I can almost name them and I think everybody. Okay. But um, I, I want to be able to recognize everybody to the point where it's just like, oh, that's the eight. Mm-hmm. That's my nigga June. <laughs> my nigga Joshua in the cut. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, y'all good? Not Great. I know the vibes cares. Jump in the comments. Tell us how y'all feel about this track. Tell us how y'all feel about the production. Also, put us on to some other B sides and some other videos that we didn't hit. And also, let us know who y'all would like seventeen to battle in the next choreo battle. Ooh, Ooh choice is yours. No, he said the power is yours. The boys, go holla at y'all. Peace.